Now I understand why Iceland is called Iceland. What kind of a coffee shop is this? I don't know, huh? it's like a snake and uh, that looks like a peach or a pear. Yo, what kind of shop is this? <laughs> what is going on here? No, no it's okay. Huh? If you drop yours, then you don't have to pay. Oh, it's okay, it's I won't okay. pay. Um, I like the IPA, it's one uh, of IPA, yeah. and the uh, Moby Dick. Moby Dick? Welcome to Iceland. Population 376,000. Freezing my nuts off. <laughs> oh man. Yep, HV Travels is a rage of Iceland right now. I just arrived about uh, two hours ago. Right, the city. <laughs> and soon I'll be checking into my, uh, my apartment hotel in about five hours. Hoping they have the room ready for me. Yeah. Jesus. Pink line. All right, so I just arrived the uh, BSI bus terminal here in Reykjavik. And I see, I see some things that you can do here in Reykjavik. There are sightings. There's the, uh, the Golden Circle, Northern Light Store. They got caves here, South Shore, and what else? Blue Lagoon round trip transfer. One adult, 6,000, 199 Icelandic crowns. Let's explore Iceland. It's about 8 in the morning, actually it's like 7.30 in the morning right now. Yeah, it is January. The coldest month in, in Iceland is January. It is also the, the same month where you will see the shortest amount of sun. The sunlight in January in Iceland is about maybe four hours long. So if you come here in January, you will not see much of the sun. Oh God! Out of all the places in the world, H and Travels have decided to come to Iceland in January in the freezing cold. Yep, BSI bus station right there. All right, well, let's explore the city, guys. Welcome to Iceland, Reykjavik, baby. Let's go. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit! Yo, this is no joke. Look at that, guys. We got palm trees here. We got palm trees. It is so windy here. Yo, I don't <laughs> Yo, I don't know if I can make it my place today. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh look at the look at the tree house. Southeast Asia. I miss you. <laughs> I really miss you. It's still Christmas here in Iceland. Now I understand why Iceland is called Iceland. Everything is covered in the snow. The benches, the roads, the cars. If you guys have never been to Iceland, I will, uh, 
I will tell you a few facts. This is one of the safest countries in the whole world. Who is riding a bicycle when it's snowing? Yeah. Okay. So right in front of us is a uh, is a is a church. Last time I was here, I think, was in 2014. Open or closed? Let's find out. Everything is closed. Where is everybody? Hey, on the bright side, it stopped snowing. Oh, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> this is my arrival in Iceland. I just came across the first place that is open here in Reykjavik. Creeps, paninis, drinks, takeaway coffee, wireless internet, soups and bread, fruits and creeps, banana creeps, grilled cheese, chai latte. All right, I'm sold. And of course, we have a, we, we have a cat in front of us too. Hello, kitty. Yeah, this is the only place that's open. Looks cool. All right. We have a cute little cat here too. We have a nice volcanic eruption with a 50s television. Cafe Balabu. Okay, let's see what's in the menu here. Cafe, babalo, hot dishes, tomato soup and bread, vegan cauliflower soup, vegan chili, grilled cheese. What do you have ready? Uh, everything else, except the, the, the soup is still in the oven, uh -huh. so it's gonna be like in 20 minutes. 20 minutes for the soup? Mm -hmm. Okay. But then, then yeah, and, the, and chili. Chili is also in the oven, so yeah. yeah, we don't really have it ready after opening that soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, grilled cheese. Grilled cheese? Yeah, sure. And which one? Like uh, uh, just cheese, or do you want to have it with some like uh, ham or egg or pesto? Grilled cheese, tomato, and pesto. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, with the sandwich, you can have uh, corn chips, like these tortilla chips, or salad. Uh, salad. Salad. Thank you. We even got a reindeer here too. Next to a uh, greatest head small masita. Very smooth skin. Grilled cheese, salad, tomatoes, cheese on top, pesto sauce.
All right, this was probably one of my most expensive breakfast of my life. Grilled cheese and hot chocolate for 2,500 Icelandic kronas. It's nine o'clock in the morning and it's still dark out. Sun is nowhere to be seen. Okay guys, it is 10 o'clock p.m. right now. Sorry, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. It looks like it's like 6 a.m. in the morning. I've, I've been to like two different hotels to see where my hotel is. Every hotel gave me the map to look at to find my place. So I got like, I got like two hotels that gave me maps where to go. So right now H.H. Charles is uh, trying to figure out where he needs to go. Travel journey continues in Reykjavik. Adrian Charles is taking a break from mom um, from my apartment hunt here in Reykjavik, Iceland. I just found this super nice fire at a hotel. <laughs> Look at that smoke guys, volcanic eruption baby. Spartans! Ho! Ho! One thousand three hundred kronas. Should I just buy this and walk around the Iceland, like, Iceland like this? <laughs> it's getting light here in Iceland. I'm seeing mountains, baby. Mountains, snow, and the ocean. right now I just saw an airplane flying over the city we got tourists right in front of us waiting for uh, I think a bus excursion to go someplace oh it is cold <laughs> it is cold Okay, I might, I might do that, but I think I need a ticket before I do it. Let's, uh, let's head back. So so cold. God. <laughs> Bar cafe shop. All right, let's go in here. Yeah. 
Okay, this is really cool. Guys, look what I found in Iceland. Holy shit. Wow. So that looks like a, I don't know, that looks like a snake and uh, that looks like a peach or a pear um, with a couple watermelons. Yo, what kind of shop is this? <laughs> what is going on here? Ball opener. <coughs> Oh, no, this kind of reminds me of uh, Amsterdam. It's not the size, <laughs> it's the signs. Okay, for the beers they got uh, IPA, Icelandic penis ale, 6%, big cock ale, Moby Dick Pale Pale Whale and Dick Johnson. Guys, and for the handles, I think they got like dicks up top too. That's crazy. Agent and Shalvas has made up his mind. You will I sell them pin the sale. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Maybe my second one will try the big cocktail. Thank you. The strongest? Uh, and so this race, yeah. yeah. What's your favorite beer? Which one do you like? Um, I like the IPA. It's one uh, of IPA, yeah. And the uh, Moby Dick. Moby Dick. Wow. Maybe we'll try Moby Dick too. What's the name of name of this museum? Uh, it's the Philological Museum. It's a lot logical. The Philological. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let, let's give this uh, Icelandic penis ale a taste. Pretty good. Very, very refreshing, fruity. The uh, the lady who poured me the beer, she said the uh, the Moby Dick is pretty good too. So maybe after this one, I'll try the uh, the Mo Moby Dick. This place is super romantic. They even got like these uh, candles on the table. The the phallic of famous show. There's the Iceland and there's the uh, the mushroom. It's got even like a orange flavor to it too. Yeah, it's like it's like it has like orange in here. And I think this one is the uh, the strongest one too. This is the coolest cafe I've been to. <laughs> this beer is superb. It's like lemon and oranges blended together. Maybe an orange, maybe lemon. Yo, what kind of a museum is this? Atrium Shell is not the brightest travel vlogger in the world, but this is how Atrium Shell was created. Okay, I'm really confused about these paintings right here. 
<laughs> what kind of a coffee shop is this? They even got like penis waffles here too. I'll show you. So like right there, as you guys, as you guys can see, sweet penis waffles. They even got like the Book of Dicks by Charles Myers. Eat me. I'm not sure if I can post this video on YouTube. I mean, it is a museum, okay? It's public, and anybody can walk in here. It's a cafe, actually, so... YouTube, please do not restrict this video. This is a super awesome cafe, okay? They even got bags with, um, with mushrooms. <laughs> Yo. All right, goodbye, okay. So, 37th, inspired by Kevin Smith, film clerks, donated by Melcher Ruiz and Dr. Helena Garrido of Spain. Yep. Envy by Palm Luke of Texas. Beautiful artwork. Okay, this looks really painful right here. I don't even know what's going on here. <laughs> Yo. What is going on here? The family living room got increasingly crowded with amputated pharmacists and finally my wife told me I couldn't take the pharmacies. It's snowing again, yo. A train travels was outside for like 30 minutes <coughs> before I walked into the museum. Had a beer, baby. <laughs> yo, Iceland is, is cool. I mean, it's a little bit different from my uh, from my travels, but I, this was totally unexpected. I did not expect to see what, what I just saw. And guys, warning, when you see this, you know something is about to happen on the inside. Why is it so cold here? Okay, where shall we go next? Yeah, let's go here. Or here? The weather here changes so quick. Like it was almost sunny like 30 minutes ago, and now it's just and now it's just snowing. Pure snow. Look what I found. BBPIS. Hello. Hi. You sell hot dogs? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you want hot dog, please? One. Only one. With all toppings. All toppings. Thank you. What are the sauces for each of these? Uh, you can have crispy onion, raw uh -huh. onion, and ketchup. The brown is mustard, and the yellow is called remoulade. It's like a relish mayo. Relish mayo? Yes. Okay. Anything today? Uh, no, thank you. 750. This is my first hot dog from Iceland. All right, guys. First hot dog going in. We just came back from the museum, and now we're trying out these hot dogs. <coughs> my hot dog dropped while I was trying to change the camera on my on my GoPro. Not good. This is what happens when you guys try to do work. <laughs> Is 
see me. Can you do it one more hot dog? I accidentally dropped drop, drop just now. Sorry, you dropped yours? Yeah, because I, was, I, was, I changed the battery for my GoPro. No, it's okay. Yeah. Huh? If you dropped yours, then you don't have to pay. No, it's okay, it's I won't okay. pay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Mustard, onions, I think maybe bacon. <laughs> Crispy fried onions. That's what it is. Alarm clock. It is really, really good. I got myself one more hot dog. Hot dog is excellent. I've never had a hot dog that has like dried onions at the bottom of this. The bun is soft. You got like two types of mustards. Then you got, I think, ketchup. baby damn it my camera is covered in mustard one last bite Okay, everybody, when you guys come to Iceland, you have to try these hot dogs. These hot dogs are 135% pure happiness, baby. Pure happiness, baby. And we got more, more vloggers here right behind us. Yep, we got a vlogger too. <laughs>